In this video, I'd like to take a look at how to create superscripts and subscripts in Microsoft Word. So here we're talking about like squares. That would be an example of a superscript and exponent. And say here, I'd like to dress this text up a bit. So I'd really like to put here instead of n equals six, I'd like to use the symbol n1 to indicate the first of two groups. And here I'd like to use n2 or n sub 2 to indicate the second of two groups. And then finally under x, instead of putting x dash squared in text, I'd rather just say x squared with an exponent, the 2 above the x. So to do this in Word, let's just start right where the n is. So I could type n, and then what I want to do is go to this toolbar button and select where the squared is shown below, subscript, click on that button, and notice how that moves the cursor below. I can press 1, and then it's important, if you notice the cursor, it's still down below. If I type more text, it would still be in a subscript format. So I want to go ahead and press that button again to turn it off. And now notice how the cursor is regular size again. So n1 equals 6. And n, let's try this again. We can select this button once again to get that cursor in the subscript format. n2. And then don't forget to select it again to turn that off n2 equals 10 with x. Now we're going to do the x squared. So we have x there. And now we can just select the superscript button. Notice how the cursor moves up and above x. Press 2. And then we have to turn that off again. So select it once more. And then x squared equals 100. I can go ahead and copy this text to complete the sentence. So I'll just press control C as a shortcut. Put my cursor here and then press control V for paste. And then there's the text I have. So that looks a lot nicer where I have my subscript showing and then I have my superscript showing for the squared. Now there is an easier or more efficient way to do this using the shortcut keys. And I'll show you that briefly before we close here. Notice when I go to the subscript, it shows control plus equal in that tooltip there. So if I have a value, and I want a subscript for like n, if I press control equals, notice how the cursor moves down below. And then I can press control equals once again to get it back out of that subscript state, which is really quite nice. Once you do this for a little while and get used to these keys, it's really easy and you can really speed up your work, make it more efficient when you're in Word. Okay, so I'll complete that there, n1 equals six. And then let's go ahead and look at, let's move this down a line. Let's go ahead and look at superscripts, the shortcut keys for that. So as I hover over the superscript button, I see control plus shift plus a plus. So if I have X here, I type X, press and hold control, shift and plus. Now that gives me the superscripted cursor there. I can press two for squared and turn that off. I use the same sequence of keys again, control, shift plus, and then that turns that off and I'm in good shape. Okay, so that's really a more efficient way to utilize the superscript and subscript options in Microsoft Word. Now, in another tutorial, we're gonna spend more time looking at a much more powerful way to write mathematical equations and symbols and so forth using what's called the equation editor in Microsoft Word. But that's it for this video for creating superscripts and subscripts. Thanks for watching.